Hey guys, and welcome back to Welcome to Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Carding Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are on the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of, so far, two asteroids out in the wilds of space, where we are trying to take a total of six duplicates into the future as smoothly as possible. The smoothness has started to wear a bit rough, but this is something that we're going to deal with today. But last time, we were trying to clear all the magma out of the top of our system here, and mostly, we have got ourselves... Oh, this is has just done something bad. Mostly we have got ourselves a nice little system that works automatically. The thing that has just gone bad is actually the thing that I want to talk about. I'm going to let this uh, set of rocks here fill up and then using the power of the conveyor rail snip, I'm going to cut this conveyor rail in the background here. So we get some very hot rock coming down out of the top of this system here. Uh, when I say very hot rock, if we have a look over on the properties, we got a 1400 degrees. That's very, very hot. Hot enough to instantly vaporize oil water whatever you put in front of it that stuff is vaporizing so what my plan is to put it into the steam room and let it cool down the same steam room that we're using the uh, to, to cool down the actual lava now I've had to do this quite manually as you can see cutting the the line and letting the uh, the heat all drain out of these rocks before we can then restart the system I bet there's some very hot rocks in the background here because this was just turning over all on its own but there's beautiful cooling system oh, mr. bug there's beautiful cooling system systems in place to deal with that but we need to try and make this a little more automatic and I think the way I'm going to do it is via the magic of this thermo sensor over here and a piece of technology that we don't have if I come in uh, I was looking at this 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 little uh, sensor here the co conveyor rail thermo sensor but it turns out actually you know what we don't need that what we actually need is the conveyor shut off this is the thing that turns the rail on and off and we can have full control via the magic of this thermo sensor so uh, that that's what I'm gonna do that's what we're gonna to work towards uh, we do have a whole bunch of insufficient I don't know I'm looking at the food not the research lol uh, we do have a whole bunch of stuff ticking over here we got a research station and a supercomputer and at the top here we got the material study a terminal we need to get 20 applied sciences but to do that we need some red bolts we we don't actually have oh we do have some uranium at the moment we can we can turn a bunch of uranium ore into five rad bolts a piece we need 10 rad bolts per um, so per research so 200 rad bolts at five a piece for a thousand grams. That's 40 operations, that's 40 kilos. I'm fairly sure we can just make that happen. In fact, look at this. We, we could probably just do that right now. I'm not sure whether I want to just queue it all up right now, because of course, 1,000 grams is at one kilogram. We've got five, five like we could, we could do many. We could do many. But I'm not sure whether I want to run these all through at the same time, uh, because we're doing some other research. Well, we're doing the other types of research down here. I, I suppose we're just going to wait. Well, I say we're just going to wait. The next thing we're going to do is try and figure out why we are su such a weird mixture of gases over here. What I really want is just carbon dioxide here, but it turns out we've got a whole bunch of polluted oxygen as well. Uh, pumping out most of our waste gases down this way seems like it's all just being pumped out to space after being cleaned of its carbon dioxide, which gets dumped over here, and its natural gas, which gets put into this system. Unfortunately, this doesn't burn and unless we've got, here we go, uh, less than 50% fuel. So th this might even back up on us, but we'll, we'll just wait and see for the moment. In fact, we've got, yeah, we, we've got room and we are in fact burning more fuel as we speak. I was kind of expecting that to turn on at the same time as this. Yeah, 50-50, uh, 50-95, sorry. Th this should also be the same setup, this one here, 50-98. I, I don't know, let's, let's copy these settings and let's just, dump them over here because uh, one of the other things that I, we've got problems with as you can see wait a minute i just saw something quickly in part why is this on the floor why is this on the floor how are people uh, let's disable this building people can't get in here unless there are atmospheric suits for them to pick up um so i'm going to turn this building off so they can just go in and out and, and then deliver the suits what i was trying to say is we're we, this petroleum generator here is um, quite the heavy producer of carbon dioxide, and this is what I've been using to feed my uh, my slicks down the bottom. But it looks like we're not producing as much carbon dioxide as is necessary. I don't I don't know I don't know. Okay, there's a small and possibly inconsequential uh, problem dealt with. Oh, 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 we've got it. We've got it on high priority, so they're just going to come across and do that straight away, and that's kind of good because we, we would like people to use the suits. Thank you. 
Uh, indeed, Maxwell's going to show us the, the use of the suits here. Bam, he puts it on, and he's now safe from the 60 degrees that's going on inside there. We've got a bit of a cooling lock, if you will, on the go here. This this area out here tries to keep this area cool whilst this area is hot. Has it been working? Yeah, actually, it kind of has. Well, I'm fairly sure our big problem here is just one of too many creatures. It says to attack. Let's attack. I don't know how long that's going to take to happen, but we're just gonna, we're just going to leave that to happen. Oh, look at this. We've got double research underway back on Reverselin. We were, of course, on Pyaxlin looking at the critters over here back on the original rock. I suppose I could show you here. Here's Pyaxlin. Here's Reverselin. We started on Reverselin, but with all the lava above, we had to end up using the teleporters to go over to Pyaxlin and try and make our way up to space that way. That is one of the things I wish to do today. Uh, you know what? I'm going to uh, start thinking about how we can put tiles across the top of here to protect the place i think something like this and then we can there's a little bit of uranium though there. let's let's dig that out oh we can't dig it without curie hmm i mean that that's kind of fine because she's not needed over here anymore at least not until we want to set up the conveyor which i'm tempted to wait for I'm, i might i might just wait for this to get done oh rutherford sparkling away there love it love it oh here we go he's he's powering the machine i love this this is like just a little workout for my duplicates here uh, it's gonna take a while to to crank this all the way up are we centrifuging there is that something that's going is he using this to spin it back and forth round and round or are we just churning like butter who knows well, it took them almost until the end of the day to want to go and beat these guys up. I mean, that's that's a bit bit savage. Uh, you know, just at the end of the day, just to wind down, let's go and beat some critters up. I mean, that's... Yeah, I'm not about that. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, I just literally watched it happen. Why are these guys all just hanging around in front of where the red bolts are getting thrown out? Oh, that's 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 very bad. Very bad. Boar, go, go, go be chill. Uh, I mean, and then the Rutherford stands there. I think we're going to have to try and do something about this. This this is bad. This is, like, very bad. Why isn't Boar going to the hospital? What's... Go, go to bed. Go to no, he's, he's going to stand there again and get in trouble. Why? Ha. Ah, I'm not sure what to do about this. <laughs> Maybe we're just going to have to throw a door up. Uh, that 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 might be the way we end up doing this. This is this is not ideal, but it will do. In fact, I don't want to put that there. I want to put it. Oh, why aren't we cancelling? Uh, I want to put it one further forward so we've got a little bit of room to do stuff. Okay, so now I should be able to be like, ah, oh, nobody come in here unless you are plank. Does, does, does that work? Oh, nobody's going to be able to get out. Uh, okay, so let, let's try this. We now move you down here. We move Curie uh, out of the way. Curie, Curie out of the way. Uh, okay, Rutherford, I mean, I suppose that's fine. You can carry on doing doing that. Uh, you are going to leave and not be able to come back. Okay, that's that's great. That's fine. So Plank's just going to continue re supplying eventually he'll be doing both of these jobs i think i'm okay with that <laughs> so plank got in the way of one of the rad bolts so he's been held up in the bed overnight uh, which means that uh boar has been able to come in and out because i've given him access as well and has built up uh 24 and a half rad bolts unfortunately uh we are over halfway through the process here i mean o over three quarters of the way through the process here and we don't have three quarters of the of the science yet that's that's a bit of a shame that's a bit of a shame oh i suppose we would 15 because there's like two sets of rad bolts but maybe maybe i feel like having uh, intercepted a few of them with duplicates bodies has uh, wasted a bit and of course we do lose a little bit of rad bolts just in this transportation process here hence why we've got like the the, the weird half Plank, no. Oh, he just, he made a delivery and then just stood right there. I mean, what, what is this? What is it? All right, Plank's now taking over. That, That's fine, I suppose. Uh, would you believe it? I was one sure. I had to put one more into here because we are at, let's have a look, 9.8 red bolts for our final point. Uh, that, 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 was, that was slightly disappointing. If, I, if I'd only put one extra in, 
we could have, probably could have been done by now. <laughs> okay, here comes the last rad bolt. Okay, that's good. We were up to 14.7. Board, just gonna hang around. Research complete. All right, that, that, that's what we're after. That is what we've got. The conveyor shut off, receptacle, a meter. What does, wait, hold up. The conveyor meter. Oh, the connection automation uh, to automate turn material transfer off when speci specified amount has passed through. Okay, all right, that's, that's cool. I didn't know that that was a thing. Also, a whole bunch of rocket parts. We haven't got any rockets yet, so uh, maybe maybe that's something else we're gonna work on at some other point but before then as we've done our research here i i have something else i want to do you see this here got a space scan oh no is that what i want yeah the enclosed telescope that is what i want this is going to uncover a whole bunch of stuff for us but also it's going to uh, enable us to build the rocket platform a, a nose cone a cargo module and a rocket control station this is the most basic of rockets we could build apart from there's no engine there there's no engine there at all and we do have some though look so sucrose engines we've we've made the sucrose engines and a small oxidizer tank I, I wonder what else we've got let's put the word engine in oh look we got access to the steam engine Engine? Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I'll be honest though. I've got a rather large amount of petroleum kicking around Wouldn't it be nice to have that? But I don't have space science. So maybe that's something we'll be using our basic steam rocket for All right, I'm gonna slow this bad boy down. We're gonna come into the shipping We are gonna get the conveyor shut off We're gonna make it out of steel and we're gonna come up to this area that I have been preparing for uh, Goes in at the bottom out of the top. That's what we want. I want to make sure that I've got that the right way around if you press F2 uh, shift F2 the uh, um, new Automation grid. I've decided to put a new thermo sensor in there rather than run with the old one. That seems to be hooked up right. And oh, actually, we need to move this power wire up a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna do some bad now. We're gonna open up this area here, and we're gonna let Curie come and come and build all this. I might even put everything on the highest priority of alarms, but I don't know. I mean, do do I want people to be wearing atmospheric suits, or do I just want to? go in there raw. I, I'm, I'm kind of feeling a bit of, bit of a raw entry here. Let, let's see what we can do about it. Uh, picking up water isn't really what I wanted you to do. Let's let's do this. <laughs> that's, that's what I wanted you to do. Okay, Rutherford not having the best time. Kind of expected. He is currently in 180 degree uh, hot water. Steam. Steam's the word I'm looking for there. Uh, also, these guys complain when they're over two kilograms of, uh, of gases in one tile. There's 45 kilograms in one tile here so that's that's a bit much for them okay automation wire is in place i want to say hey if you are below 200 degrees ship some more of this stuff through is that ooh, wrong button is that what's going on eh, kind of oh i'm not sure about the way that i've set this up now that i look at it i was kind of hoping it'd be like splitting the the line and everything would just hold up but it looks like it's letting stuff through okay so what we actually need to do is put the shut off over here. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's not ideal, but it's fine. Quick update on Pyaxlin. After murdering all the critters, the carbon dioxide started to build back up. That's that's what we want. That's good. Another thing that's happened is I've turned the polymer press on. That will uh, just drain out a whole bunch of plastics every now and then. Drain the petroleum so that the uh, the plastics can get made. And, and more importantly, drain the oil out of the bottom because that's, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so I've set up a new system on the outside here. Really waiting for someone to come and pick up this steel. That, that would really be the ideal game right here. How about if we just be like, hey guys, Go, go pick that stuff up. Okay, there are some people that I don't want doing this, like Boar. Let's let's move you all the way down here. Oh my god, so many overlays. Yeah, Boar seems to be running away. That's good. The main reason being, look how much life he doesn't have. Uh, the, the others are kind of okay. A enough to go through and grab the stuff, surely. I, I think. We're, we're about to find out. Uh, Curie, please don't just stop there. I will need you to pick up that stuff. Okay, and then turn around and leave. And once you've got that sorted, okay, now I don't care whether it actually makes it down to here or not we just needed the stuff out of the hot room okay this should hopefully work now unfortunately we're not gonna know until the temperature drops down a little bit more we we have recently just let in a bit more um a bit more lava at which point i turned it down to 100 i was like no 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 don't don't do that um but we've still got a bit of heat so we gotta let that drain out before it's gonna be good enough Oh, research complete. Oh, yeah. Rocket platform, solo space fair, and nose cone, stuff like that. You know what? I was uh, thinking about putting something up here. Well, let's come into the rocket tree. Uh, do I have the equipment? I mean, we can make a lead rocket platform. I mean, I don't see any reason why that would go wrong. 
Maybe this side, maybe that side. I feel like this side might be the winner because then we can use this area as like a, a cooling area, if you will. Just gonna pop that there, even though no one can actually dig. We'll, we'll bring, I mean, Curie's actually, as soon as we figured out that this can work properly, Curie's done here, right? I, I think so. What's the, oh, I guess I'll take some dreadclots, thank you. Oh, that, right, we're under 200 degrees. Everything has turned on. I feel like the under 200 degrees isn't gonna be a thing that holds on for very long. The steam turbine but maybe, maybe we should have come up with a better system for this. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to set this down to uh, 175 because this guy over here is currently 150. Uh, we, 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 we've turned too much of our liquids into steam. This is bad. Is it all going to condense and go back where we need it to, though? If I hit the gas, what, have, we, have we only got oxygen or is there steam in here as well? I mean, we do appear to be running water back down. So I, I, I guess this is okay. I guess. It all depends whether this new influx of igneous rock that's just been built actually tops stuff over or not. Uh, temperature's going up, but what's going... I don't I don't know, guys. I don't know. 172, but these are all 224s. This, this is why we really need to have the other research. Uh, ooh, we've still got the engines. This guy over here. But, of course, we don't have access to the the data analysis lab and i've just turned the, the research off of something there we go this this is what here, here's the data analysis lab by the way we, we we can get it shortly and i think i think i will do maybe we should have just used the same thermo sensor oh man i've turned this one down to 150 as well hmm okay i mean at least it stopped the rocks flowing through lol Nice, nice little pile of igneous... Oh, Rutherford, you're not looking great. Nice pile of igneous rocks to start feeding our stone hatches with again because ooh, we're starting to run out of food. Also, Rutherford... Oh, I mean, all the beds are taken up, but you should definitely get in a bed next. Okay, with the current setup, we're getting batches of 360 kilograms coming through. Okay, that's... Is that acceptable? I think it's acceptable. How is steel ended up? What, where did this come from? What? We've really got all of that out. Have I broken something? We, we couldn't have melted steel. I wonder I wonder where it came from. Okay, the researchers just rolled in for the space telescope. You know what? I want to go back to Pyaxlin for that as well. Uh, if we come down to... Ooh, where would it be? Enclosed telescope. I mean, I kind of just want to throw it here. Of course, the big problem. The big problem. There's a lot of radiation in space. Look at this. 218. So we're going to have to try and figure out if there's a way of putting the enclosed telescope up without... Frying my dupes? Is that, is that is that a thing we can do? I'm really not about deep fried dupe, but we'll have to figure it out. Well, I suppose with that, enough distractions on this place. Let's send Curie back. Let's send Curie on to by accident so she can go and do some of the work. Uh, I don't I don't think she's like dead. <laughs> okay, Curie, back back to the main world. She's gonna immediately. Oh no, no, oh, she's go she's going inside. Why are you going? What what's your, what's your job? What are you doing? Let's follow her around. Find out. Mopping. Okay, that's. That's a thing. I dropped the suit. I didn't mean to drop the suit. Oh no, what is wrong with me? Let's uh, deliver suit and do that at a high priority, please. I meant I meant to hit the follow cam, but I, but I hit drop suit instead. That, that was poor. That was very poor. Okay, where, where's Curie gone? I want to see what she's up to before before I finish this hour's worth of recording. So Curie was going around storing, put, putting things away, storing petroleum, running the oil refinery as and when, but I've asked for a few things to be built over here. The first thing I've done is rip down the carbon skimmer because we just we just don't need it anymore. We, we've got a little bit of a runaway effect with the slicksters down here. The more that get put up the top, the more that eat all the carbon dioxide and there's just not enough pressure to stain everything. So I need to come through quite regularly and uh, I do wait until they're adults before I cull them But this means that we also need to shut down oil production because we're we're flooding down here uh, So what am I gonna do if we come into the automation? There's a hydro sensor here uh, I think we can use lead. I mean, it's warm down here, but it's not melting lead warm So we'll, we'll go ahead and put that down uh, Curie of course now going around to do all the construction instead of putting stuff away Okay, hydro sensor in place. Uh, literally uh, above. Oh no, no, we want we want a red signal below one. O only go if there are no liquids at all here. I hope they don't cling onto the side of the mesh tile and cause some troubles. I mean, they shouldn't do. They shouldn't do. And be. Because it's not actually hooked up at the moment, the wire hasn't got a green signal, so it's turned it off anyway. So we'll, we'll see if that starts to empty out all these liquids down here. But of course, it doesn't go anywhere until the oil refinery gets turned over. Mostly interested to see whether the slicks will go ahead and uh, 
produced more oil faster than we can deal with it? That that would be quite a shame. Ooh, we've only got 20 odd seconds left on the printing pod. Let's, uh, let's fast forward through this just a little bit because I am looking for a new duplicate. Yes, it's been some time, but I think now is the time. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Choose a blueprint. Oh, I'm looking for a... Oh, this is, this is terrible. I don't want these, any of these at all. I'm looking for a rancher farmer. If I could get a rancher farmer, that would be great. But I'm actually gonna have to wait. Okay, I'll take these curative tablets. Thanks. Whilst I wait for the printing pod to spit me out another duplicate, I thought I'd take it upon myself to clear a little area out. Now that this water a water tank has been completely cleared out, might need to remove some of these uh, these pipes around. But uh, now that this is all clear out, maybe needs a little bit of a mop. We can start building better bedrooms. I think we might even have fancy beds. We've got enough plastic that we can deal with it. I'm thinking that I'm just going to put. Uh, so if you if you draw a line down one side of the toilets and go the other direction uh, I will be just building that in front of every bedroom maybe even with a a mess hall and stuff on the outside here I wonder if we can get I oh know it's nice having a great hall actually maybe we could move this hospital yes it's it's a hospital maybe we could move that over this way a bit Okay, spacing is a little bit weird, but I've got a single and a double dorm here. We've got this bedroom with this little toilet system over here, and then these two bedrooms, I suppose it's a twin, not a double, uh, with these uh, th these toilets over here. I could could we build a double down here? I might build a double. Let's let's try that. And then we'd only need one for the double, right? Is that is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing, but I think it might be. Obviously, the thing I'm going here for here is the uh, personal bedroom bonus, so maybe maybe double room is not the winner yeah requirement single comfy bed okay duplicants aren't allowed to live with each other I, I, I get it game I understand what you're trying to tell me oh new prints when when did that go off I did not hear it all right let's have a look rancher digging might be the best we're gonna get for a while okay let's go with this we're going to go with Rubin, as in Vera Rubin. She was uh, the, the lady who pointed the way towards the Trail of Dark Matter. She was one of the first to, like, notice most of the weirdness that was going on. Uh, but she settled in here. I don't I don't, I don't, don't want her to be here. Uh, Rubin, we're going to send you over. Oh, in fact, we've got a whole load of like, skills. Let's get in there and let's have a look. Rubin, you've got one skill. That's, that's kind of unfortunate. The, the ranching is down here, but we're going to put you on... Um, but farming to begin with and I know you love to dig but actually we're gonna set you up to where, where are we ranching ranching important farming kind of important oh and and, and always don't don't forget the hat improved farming off you go <laughs> Hats are important. People people like hats. Hats are hats are very useful. They let you know who a person is at a first glance. You know. All right, cool. I don't know where she's sleeping. Is she over here? Is she in one of these? I don't I don't know. But we got we got more to build. We've got more to build. Uh, we should we should we should watch her go around for the first little while. Of course, the farming is a top priority here. Poor Maxwell. We've really got to get him. I think we ran out of um, allergen tablets so we, we, we got we got a bit of a problem there as you can see this this guy over here 50 mm, yeah we, we we definitely need to try and get those made maybe with Ruben coming along to relieve some of the pressure on Maxwell we we should have a, a good time I'm hoping where are you going I'm picking up seeds where are the seeds going briar seeds okay over here is that is that a bit of farming? I think that might have been farming. Now, we're just gonna go around and do some storage. I'm uh, surprised there's not more to be done with the Slicksters. I, I, would have, I would have assumed some of them needed ranching. I mean, these guys are all glum, how come? Yeah, like they've not been tamed. Why can't you get in here? Oh, there, there they go. Uh, what should have happened? Oh no, I pressed the wrong button again. How do I do this? How do I do this all the time? Come, come here, Sue, I want you to... Ruben, there we go. Is she gonna pick up the suit first? She does pick up the suit first. Okay, that that's good. What I meant to do was hit the follow cam. All right, great. Let, let's see what she. That's not that's not quite what I expected you to do. Ah, uh, of course, because she needs to actually have the next skill on the branch. Okay, can't do ranching untrained. Well, I'm sure running around and doing a bunch of odd jobs will help. Okay, we have had a massive rewiring here, but that's fine because we have uh, re reconfigured everything over here. We've still got priority on the toilet flow because, of course, 
toilets do need to flow. If they don't, we start running into some troubles. But we also have the waste output from the... Uh, hydrogen generator, no, 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 natural gas generator over here. Uh, and of course, the supplementary water for whenever we need it. Okay, beautiful. It should be fine. There's a lot of stuff on the floor. Let's uh, throw an absurd amount of manpower at this. But whilst we watch the crew tidy up my big mess, I would like to take this moment right here to thank the people that keep my life tidy. Yes, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. N names of the guys and girls that have taken the time out of their day and the money out of their wallets to help keep the power flowing to my PC. I am currently a very busy astrophysics student and being able to justify the time it takes to make one of these episodes is made very much easier by your continued support. And so I'd like to say thank you from the very bottom of my being as I love doing this and you make it possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, that that was that was pretty bad. A random solid for three days might be a little much. That there's people starving, but I think they'll survive. Well, I definitely think our first residents need to be Curie and Franklin. Maxwell can totally live down here. I'm not sure if actually Franklin or uh, Curie want to live on this side. We'll definitely build another area down, but I have noticed how long this episode has been running for, and I want to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we sorted out our oil biome over here. It is once again covered in carbon dioxide, as is requested, and producing a whole bunch of oil down below that we are picking up slowly but surely and processing into plastics over here on reverse then we've managed to get the automatic processing of the igneous rock sorted out and everything seems to be working at the top here let's come and have a look and see we have a lot of igneous rock in this side but not so much in that maybe we need to try and figure out a way of speeding up the production process there but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye